Let's talk about the drive menu and how you can bind the most important controls, which are the wheel, pedals, and the shifters. You head into iRacing uh, in the replay screen, you click on options, and it will bring you to that drive menu right here. If it's the first time that you land in this menu, you will have a pop-up that will uh, suggest you to bind your controls. So I'll do that manually, but it's the first time it'll show you automatically and you can just follow uh, through the steps. So the first thing we'll do is do all the input calibration. Um, if these calibrations are not properly done, uh, you'll have a lot of issues to get the most out of your equipment and you'll probably feel like it's not really realistic. So first thing is steering. So if you want to configure the steering, you click on steering. It'll bring a pop up and you then need to complete a task, which is um, go lock to lock to know how much rotation you can go. I'm just going to do it right away. So as you can see, uh, full lock to the left lock to the right and then we put it in the middle 50 percent and we can click on done now the next step is to calculate the wheel range so how we do that we put the wheel at 90 degree as you can see right here let me put it really close to it if the settings in your uh wheel base are perfectly set and and the range is fine you should get 900 degrees uh, if not, it's a little bit off. Irising will automatically adjust it. So if you see a different value than 900 degrees, it's fine. But if your wheel is at 90 degrees, you should see the wheel at 90 degree in game. If uh, the, the ratio is different, and for example, you're at 90 degree, but it shows uh, 180 or, or a bit less or a bit more, now you have an issue. So make sure in your wheelbase setting that it's set either to automatic to 1080 in terms of full rotation or 900 degrees and that in iRacing once you've calibrated the steering your real life steering matches the the one that you have right here let's move on to the pedals so what we'll do we'll click on pedal again and as you can see it says depress the throttle fully so what i'll do is just put it to 100 percent and release click on done same thing for the brake so i'm doing it with the brake that's 100 if you do have a load cell pedal, make sure you click on that box. It's really important, otherwise the brake feeling won't be good. So make sure it's checked. If you have a potentiometer uh, brake pedal, uh, you can just take it off. So myself, I do have a load cell, so I'll click on it. And then the last thing we'll do is calibrate to uh, the clutch. So if you have a foot clutch, you can use it. I do have uh, a clutch with uh, my steering, so I'll use it. As you can see, I'm headed to 100% and I go back to zero. If you can't uh, calibrate your clutch, you do have that option right here, the drop down menu. Uh, I think it shows to auto clutch when you first launch the game. So make sure you calibrate uh, the clutch if you do have one. If not, you just use auto clutch. Then we'll click on done and our pedal setup are completed. Now, a really important thing as well to remember, make sure that your throttle uh, goes to 100% when you're at 100%. Sometimes I see people where the pedal's at 100% but in game it shows 90 so make sure uh, this is configured properly make sure as well that you don't have any uh, input on your brakes if you rest your foot on it so for myself I'm resting my foot on it right now I have zero but if you rest your foot on it and you do have a little bit of brake bleed uh, make sure you go in your pedal software and you had a bit of a dead zone at the bottom so you don't break while you're trying to, you know, be flat out on the straight. Same process for the clutch. Make sure it's uh, it's fully at zero and it goes all the way up to uh, 100%. Now, the next setting will be the gearbox. So if I click on the gearbox, as you can see, I can configure my shifters. I use sequential on my steering. So uh, they ask for an upshift. So I'll just click on my upshift button. Click done. Downshift. Same process. If you have a sequential shifter, you can just input these two as well. Uh, it'll work the same. If you do have an H pattern, it'll ask you to go through all the gears. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then reverse. And once this is done, you can click on continue. Uh, myself, I don't have an H pattern, so I click on no, and then I can click on done. So as you can see right now, we've calibrated all of our inputs. We know we're not limited by our hardware and everything is configured properly.